Question 13. Determine the equation in symmetric form for the line passing through point P 3 minus 4 6 and having direction angles 60 degrees, 90 degrees and 30 degrees. Well, I'd like you to answer this question, stop the video meanwhile and then look into the solution as you had been doing all along. Okay, here is my solution. Now, let me also tell you about the direction angles <coughs> when the given angle. See, the direction cosines also give you the direction of the vector. So, cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma are the three directions along x, y and z axis. One more property which you should remember is that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is always 1. Uh, you will need this in many, many examples. So, you can write direction vector as equals to cos of 60, cos of 90 degrees, and cos of 30 degrees. That's the direction vector when we are given angles which line makes with each axis. Now, to find cos 60, 90 and 30 degrees, you can always rely on your standard triangle, correct? I hope you remember this. If it is 60 degrees here, then the sides are you can say 2, 1 and square root 3. So, we'll use these values. So, we get cos of 60 is 1 over 2, cos 19 is 0 and cos of 30 degrees, 30 is this angle, square root 3 over 2. So we can take half common and we can simplify this to 1 0 and square root 3. Okay? So that is our direction vector and therefore now we can write equation in symmetric form. So the point given is 1 minus 4 and 6. So equation symmetric form is x minus 3 over 1 which is equals to y minus minus 4. So it becomes y plus 4 over 0. So you can't write this. Okay. Well, I'll tell you how to do this. So this cannot be written, right? Equals to z minus 6 over square root 3. So when you get into this kind of a situation where the denominator is 0, so you can't divide anything by 0, right? So the way to write this is, and there is no point writing 1 here, correct? So therefore, we will write our answer as x minus 3, just x minus 3. There is no need to write divide by 1. And we will skip this and we will write z minus 6 over square root of 3, comma, and y. The y value is always 4. So we say y equals to minus 4. So which is always minus 4, correct? It's kind of vertical line. So that is your symmetric equation for the given condition. Okay, I hope you'll remember how to write. If I give you this, then can you tell me the point and the direction angles? That could be a very interesting problem and could be a thinking problem. Okay, think about it. Thank you.